Somehow during this year, I managed to attend 55 football matches across England and Scotland, and all these matches and all these videos I do wouldn't be possible without your support. So a massive thank you to everyone who has watched in 2021. 2022 is gonna be even bigger and better, so please do subscribe if you're new, and remember to hit that like button. I really appreciate all the support you've given me this year, and um, yeah, I've been to matches up in Scotland and down in England as well, and long may that continue into the new year. I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas, and I hope you have a great new year as well and I'll see you in 2022 with more content but from me and this lovely little Boston Terrier here we wish you a great Christmas and a happy new year. Yeah beautiful day here now blue skies if a little bit cold as you can see got the snood on got the hood up but I'm here watching football again, this time in 2021. Absolutely buzzing to be here. Stenhouse Mule becoming a second home for me. Love it here at Ockerview Park. Big collision here. He could even be knocked out, you know. Right, the game is still meant to be going on here, but it's been stopped for this head injury for a long time. I reckon this one might be called off. They've called an ambulance for the player who's down. He's still down. That is the end of this one here at Stenhouse Muir. Absolutely shocking scenes as he gets lifted onto the stretcher over there. Looks like spring is kind of here and uh, yeah, football is restarting again. I'm at my first match, my, only my second match this year, my first match since the 2nd of January. Dumbarton versus Forfa, let's do it. The big uh, Dumbarton striker there, and uh, they were, oh, the keeper just kicked against his own defender. Oh my god, it's gone in! Oh my god. And look at that, you don't come to a football match in over two months, then two come along in the space of like a week. We have kicked off here, and look at that. We've got poles obstructing the view, a classic old stadium, proper football there, so on a rainy day. That's false advertising if you ask me. Here we go, we've kicked off in huge game, of course. It's for a place in the next match to play Breek in and potentially reach Scottish League 2. <laughs> have to grow into the game but Nathan Austin has finished this one off for him now that as you just saw a hat trick a great hat trick from him the first was a little bit scrappy but it got them back into the game and then the second a good header from across and the third from the free kick absolutely class and you can see him go absolutely mental he's coming off now he's done his job last touch was his hat trick goal <laughs> We've kicked off. Early chance for East Kilbride. 
Oh, I can save. It's a chance. Oh, it's hit the post. Oh. We're a little bit behind on this feed here, but Scotland are about to score. Go on. Oh! You can hear the celebrations. McGregor. Go on, Scotland. There's the one football notification as well. Oh, amazing. And look, the players are coming out for the second half. Scotland have just scored. He's got a rock, Tiffany Crane win this. Right, look at that, Hamden Park is behind me and today is the day that I achieve something on my bucket list. I've been wanting to get inside Hamden for so long. Think of all the content I've made about Hamden and Queen's Park and Scottish stadiums and I've never even stepped foot inside of Hamden Park. It's unbelievable. Um, but today is that day. I'm going to Ukraine versus Sweden. I, ca I cannot wait for this game. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. I'm supporting Ukraine. Gate 14, yes. Yeah, yes. Just have your ticket QR code facing up the way. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a toughie, you know. Smash me all over the place. Look at this. We've got a Ukrainian in a kilt. Don't you just love it? Who's your favourite Ukrainian player? Yarmolenko. Here's Hamden, my first ever experience. Oh my god. There it is. The stadium I've been wanting to come in for so long, but I have to watch the England game. There's no uh, food for sale or whatever, but they do have a load of free water. So, fair play. We do at least get hydrated but there's no food for sale but there is uefa merchandise outside so uh yeah they've got their um they've got their priorities in order here i actually cannot believe my luck i'm currently stood here in hamden park in the sun in scotland watching the game after everything we've been through to be here right now is just absolutely unreal and i cannot tell you how lucky i feel to be here i'm getting down there the ukrainians are buzzing Zinchenko! Sweden have got a free kick here though. Right after Ukraine have scored. Sweden have equalised. Three minutes of stoppage time. Can Ukraine win it before Pence?
Wow, what an absolute scorcher of a day, and um, yeah, one that I'm absolutely buzzing for. The first competitive game of the season on my channel. And you two know up, how good does it feel just to be in the sun, watching the football, and your team's winning as well? Can't beat it, can you? You can't beat it, what <laughs> you just, day? You can't beat it. And with that, it is match day, and it is another incredibly sunny day here. And I'm buzzing for this one because I'm gonna be seeing Rangers play, the Colts team. Um, I've wanted to do this as soon as I found out that Rangers and Celtic would be in the Lowland League this season as a B team, as a Colts team, as a younger team. So yeah, and I'm also seeing Spartans as well, somewhere I've been just recently, and yeah, can't wait to actually watch them play this time. Rangers knocking on the door, not long to go, but looking comfortable now on the attack again. Oh. <gasps> oh. So two wins out of two, you happy with uh, how the season's progressing so far for you guys? Oh, definitely, oh, yeah. so it's a different experience for us coming yeah. in the men's game, but of course. I'm, I'm enjoying it. And um, is it good playing in front of crowds, like of course like oh, two games out of two now in front of the fans? Back, fans? Especially, I'm not really used to it, but we appreciate all the fans coming along and support boys. Nice, appreciate it mate, Cheers. all the best. Dougie, you're in great spirits <laughs> at the end of the game despite the loss. Um, can you just explain your thoughts on the game? I think we got beaten by a better side. You know, yeah. I think goals change games is the same. I think the first goal was critical. I think you could see that it gave them confidence. Welcome to a video about a team in England who play in Scotland, playing against a team from Scotland who used to play in England. First take, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. It's lucky that I've made it out in time to see kickoff. I was just inside, I'll put some clips on screen just now of the incredible spread that they put on here in the uh, in one of their uh, little suites there for press and players, family and other people here working with the club. Absolutely unbelievable. Amazing food. We are going to a very historic football match today. Not only is it a historic game for the home team that are playing, it's also a derby, a Fife derby. I've not been to a derby match in so, so long. I couldn't even tell you when, but look, Cowden Beef will be the away team today. And why am I starting the video here? Well, it is only three miles away from Kelty. Joe Carter. So we've just witnessed history. Joe Cardle scored a great goal. It's good build up, good play. PFL goal for Kelly Hearts. What do you think about your first instant reaction? Amazing. Massive result today and a huge congratulations on your goal as well. Thank you. You've scored a historic goal, the first yeah. goal. First SPFL goal for yeah. Kelly Hearts. How does that feel? No, it feels great. That's obviously what I want to be doing when yeah. I'm here. Um, just delighted to obviously play my part and the first victory, the first league victory for yeah. Kelty Hearts. So, Listen, we uh, we started the game very well. First half, I thought we were great. Second half, we kind of died down a little bit, uh, but it's three points. It's, uh, it starts the season for us, yep. and hopefully we can push on now. What a sad sight that is! Ticket office shut. I think Carlisle did have fans in not long ago. They were one of the clubs. I'm pretty certain that allowed fans back in at one point because of the tiered system or whatever. But I don't know. Uh, if that's the case anymore, obviously things change so much. By the time I upload this video, it might not be that anymore. But you might be watching this in a month's time that it's come out, it might be different. It might be a year's time and stadiums are full again. Let's hope so. Eight months on from that very clip that I just showed you, here I am. Today is the day, yes, I was saying maybe in about a year's time that stadiums will be full and stadiums can be full now in England. Um, I'm not sure if it will be a sellout today, but yes, that was the road I was talking about on right there and uh, how full circle is that? Eight months later and I will be watching Carlisle today. It's Carlisle United against Colchester in League Two. The EFL football is here. Look at this, a brand new stadium to take in from the inside. We're watching two teams we've never seen on the channel before. It's Carlisle, it's Colchester. Remember to hit that like button. Remember to subscribe if you're new. There is so much more coming. Look at this, what a ground.
half kicked off. Tony Weston on the ball. Oh, what a goal. How um, did it feel working for East Kilbride now as assistant manager to come up against your former team kind of in the Rangers Colts? Yeah, it was good. It was a good test for it, I think. We gave the Rangers a good test today. Unfortunately, yeah. we made a couple of mistakes and it sort of cost us. But again, that, that's the nature of football. Uh, we just need to get ourselves going again and hopefully that win will come round the corner. Of course, it's been a tough start, I guess, for East Kilbride at the moment. What do you think sort of the club needs to do to turn it around? There's been a few injuries, I know. But... That's all it is. We just need to start winning games. And uh, when you win games, you're successful. Yeah. At the present moment, we're not winning enough games, but it'll come. And uh, we just make sure we, we can get a fitness, our, our, our unfit players back, and uh, that will help bolster the squad because we're asking a lot of the boys yeah. day in and day out to do a lot of work just now. Yeah. And, uh, so once we get fit players out there. Amazing. And uh, just a word on the Rangers Colts as well. Who are you looking at to maybe come into the first team in the next few years? Well, you can see that there's sprinkled with a few, a lot of boys there. And, and as I said, now being in this league, playing against men, it'll, it'll tough, now, not toughen them up, but it'll get them a good, yeah. a good start. And obviously now if they're playing well, then the manager will have a look at them. But there's a lot of starlets there. And uh, long may continue. I really don't know how to start this video um, after living in Scotland for so long. This is something that I honestly didn't ever think would happen, especially after the past year and stuff that we've had. But not only have fans been let back into Ibrox over the past few weeks and over the rest of Scotland, but full stadiums are now allowed within Scotland. And the first ever full, st full capacity game is sold out today at Ibrox post, obviously, all the madness that's been going on over the past year or so. Today is the first day that Ibrox will be full. And I was lucky enough to get a general sale ticket one of the last ones going on the Rangers website the other day for Rangers versus Malmo in the Champions League an amazing week of football we are having on the channel this week we've been to rangers malmo today is the turn of saint johnston versus galatasaray probably the biggest match in the club's recent history and yes they've recently played two cup finals and won them both but today just seems massive it's going to be a sellout tonight at saint johnston <laughs>
That is one of the biggest stadiums in the Premier League. It is St. James's Park. It is my first ever Premier League match day vlog. I cannot believe it. When I moved back to the UK, I thought I'd be able to do loads, but um, for obvious reasons, I haven't been able to. But this is the opening weekend of the Premier League season. On this video today, it's going to be Newcastle v West Ham. Please subscribe if you're new. Please hit that like button. Yeah! Game week of the season, there's already booze at full time at St. James's Park. Not a good sign, but the West Ham fans are having some party up there. Look at this starting a vlog at the beach some of the the crazy touches and the shots and the both teams have hit the woodwork multiple times with two penalties they've got the sub wrong who's come on we've had to pass the ball back we've stroked a dog there's been aggro this is what non-league football is all about talk about football bucket list moments and uh, for me there is two that I've needed to tick off for a while. European night at Ibrox, did that last week, and a European night here at Paradise, also known as Celtic Park. I've wanted to come here and watch a match for so long and today I'm lucky enough to be going to Celtic versus AZ Alkmaar. Can you believe it? Finally inside of Celtic Park. Been waiting a long time for this. With the uh, both sets of fans pouring out onto the streets after just 10 minutes of play, I don't think anyone's happy. Doesn't feel like a nice atmosphere around here at the moment. Jesus. 
Jesus. Something's happening with 12 minutes in. What's up? The game's just stopped. What's going on? We ain't got a clue. Oh, what, what has happened? What the fuck? What has happened? They've just stopped the game. What the fuck? Something's happening here. They might be calling it off, and we have no idea why. How have they called this off? These fans are so good. 14 minutes. They've not even said what. They've not even literally said why it's been called off. They've not even said. No one knows what's going on. All the players are walking off. And look at this, sunnies are on, the sun is out on a beautiful day here in Perth as we are going to be watching St. Johnston again. I'm doing my intro here again on this lovely bit of grass by McDermott Park, the home of St. Johnston. Hello, if you are from Österreich, Guten Tag. I do remember a little bit of um, high school German, so here, I'll give it a go, hang on. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, ich spreche kleiner Deutsch, uh, sehr, sehr klein Deutsch. Um, guten Tag. Uh, ich heiße Sam, ich liebe Fußball, um, ich bin mit dem Rad gefahren, uh, bitte, bitte abonnieren, uh, danke schön, tschüss. He's right on, lads. Hey, come on, Kelty. Welcome to a video that I am calling the Footy Adventures Derby. Now, over the last year, I know that um, we've all been through some weird stuff, and um, yeah, none more so than when we couldn't go to the football for me, and um, it's obviously such a big part of my life. But there were two clubs out there, there was a few out there that were very kind and accommodating to me, but there were two that I always go on about and always say whenever someone says, who do you support in Scotland? It really is no one, I'm a Liverpool fan. Yeah, people always ask me, who do you like in Scotland? There's two clubs I always say, because of how they treated me last year um, and last season and stuff and that's Stenhouse Muir and Kelty Hearts and last season when I was watching them they one was in the Lone League Kelty Hearts and one was in League 2 Stenhouse Muir Kelty Hearts have now been promoted and both the teams that play in Maroon will face each other today in League 2 You're on the attack now. Barjonas is in the Did middle. He's found him. He's found him. Oh, he's put him in. Yeah. 
So Paul, you're obviously on the on the video last time. A huge thank you for yeah. um, for having me back down again. How have things been going since I last saw you? Obviously, it's, it, I think it was April, and now it's August. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. No, fans yeah. are back. And well, of course, uh, it's been a difficult time with COVID, but we've yeah. come out of COVID. Yeah. And uh, you know, thank, thankfully, because of the Tottenham game, we've been able to uh, transform the club. Yeah. And uh, you know, the clubhouse has been gutted and refurbished. Amazing. Great to be back in England to cover some stories from down here as well. And this is the famous pitch at where Spurs played last season. And look, some of the players are down there as well from Marine and Prescott Cables as well. Bit of a local derby, this one. They're both Liverpool-based teams in the uh, Northern Premier Division. I think Tier 8, the guys were saying earlier on. So, yeah, should be a really good game today. Marine have been in really good form. Look how close you can get to the action. This is why non-league's the best. When Marine go marching in. Here we go, Marine with a free kick. They're going to erupt if this goes in. Lino, <laughs> you've ruined that. Lino. Oh, Marine, what a goal! What a goal. I hope the linesman didn't get in the way, but 1 0, what a banger. Do you come to Accrington Stanley quite a lot? Yeah, yeah we go home and away. Home and away. And how do you think they'll do this season in the league? Good. Good? And where do you think they'll finish? I will go to the You reckon you'll get promoted to the championship? And I'm just leaving the sort of little entertainment area where they're selling beers and stuff and it's so nice. I'm with a couple of mates today and I'm not driving so I can actually have a beer for once. <laughs> But yeah, look, never been to Bolton before, so absolutely buzzing to be here. They've got some famous fans, of course, Peter Kay, I think Vernon Kay might be a Bolton fan. I might be wrong on that. Paddy McGuinness, a couple of YouTubers as well, Stunt Peg and uh, whoever these two guys are. This is the noise when they win a corner. What's a goal going to be like in here?
Just come up on the big screen up there, Andros Townsend. Take a bow. Look at the Gladys Street end. There he is, my childhood hero, Stephen Gerrard. I couldn't believe how close he was to where I was sitting, where he was getting interviewed and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I just had to uh, let you know my thoughts. There he is, my idol, Stevie G. Back to the vid. near the Union Bears. I'm going to be getting all the atmosphere from them today. As the teams are getting announced, this is going to be special. Today's video is dedicated to you. Whether this is the first time you've ever watched one of my videos, whether you subscribed yesterday, whether you always like my videos, whether your name is Dominic and you always comment first, or whether you're Alan or Bob or Nick or any of the people that regularly watch my videos and I see you in the comments, Eric, there's too many that I can't even um, mention you all, so I'm really sorry. But yeah, today's video is dedicated to all of you guys. Like I say, whether you've watched one video or a hundred, today's video is all about you. Um, I've worked very hard hard to get the channel to where it is but without all your support things like today cannot happen so uh, yeah last season and this season as well I've been lucky enough to have press passes at League One games, League Two games, Lowland League games as well, um, the conference down in England at Hartlepool I had a press pass for once as well but today feels massive for me look I'm at Hamilton Stadium New Douglas Park and um, yeah I'm part of the uh, press today which feels huge for me it's a championship game um, the biggest game that I've ever been sort of invited to like this and not only is it a championship game but Hamilton last season were in the Premiership as well. And you have one nil to air now and it was Stephen Bradley with the goal. Oh god the home fans aren't happy. It's 2-0. About the best thing about today, the um, yeah, the play hasn't been great. 20 minutes left, let's hope for a goal. Um, there's been some good tackles, but the best part of my day, 
apparently all the people tweeting me saying I've been on Sky. So yeah, I finally made it big. And I couldn't look happier to be on there, can I? There's a group of 18 rocky volcanic islands in between Iceland and Norway in the Atlantic Ocean. The Faroe Islands is a self-governing archipelago, technically under the rule of the Kingdom of Denmark, I believe. If anyone from the Faroe Islands is watching, please explain this in the comment section in a little bit more detail. In Scottish terms, the Faroe Islands has a population around the same size as Cope Bridge. Today, their ladies team, who lost 10-0 last time out against Spain, come up against Scotland. Half time, one of the most boring halves of football I've ever had to sit through. See you in the second half. The half time change to Rangers, right is off and Hadji is on. Let's pray to God he can change the game. Yeah! shows that they have here at Celtic Park in these nighttime games are so good. Adds to the atmosphere amazingly well and uh, yeah, buzzing for yet another game under the lights at Celtic Park, bringing off. Some other world players are coming out and what I love about visiting new grounds is uh, yeah, seeing like what my view is like from my seat and let's uh, let's head to our seat now and just find out shall we. Sorry mate, I'm uh, squeeze past. I think I'm in a 75, so... Wow, what a, what a great view I've got today. I've spoken about the pole of uncertainty before in my videos, and I usually have one that's quite far away, but just look at that. The best view in Scottish football, it really is. And yeah, my seat is behind that pole, but there is no way I'm, uh, I'm uh, standing there or sitting there all game. I won't be able to see, but look, the game is about to kick off. And we're gonna go find the well boys and sit with them where the atmosphere is. Here we go, a much better view from up here.
and the game is kicked off now, as you just saw from a few of those clips there. And something interesting that the Vale of Leithen manager, I was saying it right, Vale of Leithen, the manager was telling me pre-game that I hadn't realised, they haven't won a game at home here for three years. The floodgates could open now. It is 1-0, 2-0 after I don't even think we've played five minutes yet. That is 3-0 now. Starting to lose count now. It's 4-0. There you go. 5-0. 6-0, I think. Quite a lot of time left here in the first half and it is 7-0. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Good ball, Kosha. 8-0, looking good for your 17-0 yes. now. 9-0. There you go. Double figures, 10-0. And it's 10-0 now, this is my first ever game with 10 goals. Oh, 11. They scored this one. And the goal difference is now minus 75-ish after 14 games. There we go. And yeah, they're going for the ball, so they want even more goals. What is it now? 13. Come on, Barney. Come on, Barney. But there's some aggro here. Look at this. There's definitely some aggro going on. This North London derby is turning a bit tasty. Looks like I chose the wrong end to be in. Unless Blackpool can make an incredible comeback. Blackpool have been the better team. I don't understand how Reading are winning 2-0. Oh, I'm convinced you're going to come back. You're going to come back. Here we go. Come on.
out come the players. And look, really good turnout from the Villa fans. Look at all these. They're here to see the under-21s play. Regular viewers will know I always check the scores and see you <laughs> scoring and banging them in. I think I was checking uh, the stats in the SPFL. I think you're the only player in all the leagues to have scored more goals than you've played games this season. How? What's the secret for you this season? Um, just trying to stay stay fit. If I'm being honest, you know, um, didn't really start well with not with being injured and stuff, and then yeah. um, came into the team and seemed to be doing well. And it's yeah. just about you know trying to keep doing the same things right and. And when you get the chances, I'm um, putting them away, and they seem to be doing that. So, a massive game today, and hopefully, I can carry on the good form. Look at that! Look at them! Go on, Kelty! Legend, cheers, lad, cheers! What a legend! Look at him! Hero, thank you very much! The last thing you lot needed was more sugar. Is it possible to watch a Champions League match, get some travel down there, some overnight accommodation, a little bit of spending money for the day, a little bit of food, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, all for under £100. I've done the maths and I think it can be done. Just checking in, please. Perfect. Amazing. Cool. Thank you very much. Room 22, where are you? Right. Let's see what 42 pounds gets you on the kind of outskirts of Manchester in a travel lodge. So you get a lovely bed, you get a nice Samsung television that will be going on very shortly. I've got to leave in a bit. You get a lovely view of some Biffa bins, as well as a lovely hedge out there as well. Some tea and coffee for the morning, which will come in very handy. Let's check out the bathroom, very travel lodge-esque. You get a vlogger in the mirror as well. Look at that, all for 42 pounds, which has come off today's total. Take four pounds off the total. This is gonna be insane. Right, I'm gonna use the light off my phone to reveal for four pounds what it gets you. Just checking the scores. This is the only nil-nil 
so far in Scotland. Five minutes to go. Today's football match will be the most northern and remote football match I've ever seen in my life. Yes, lads, yes, lads. Look at this round of applause. <laughs> Cheers, boys. <laughs> okay, you lot are mental. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Look at that shit. That is dry as did you <laughs> Did you put the ketchup on there? I put the ketchup on there. I think that's your big mistake, to be honest. He's, subscribed to, he's the yeah. best YouTuber ever. Oh. He's the best YouTuber He knows, he knows. I agree. I agree with him. Just like it, subscribe. Here you go, go on, boys. Please, Elgin. Yes! Yes! Go on! Oh, fucking finally, boys! Yes! 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 Come on, boys. Come on, Elgin. We're black, we're white, we're fucking dynamite.
and I'm going to film the reaction of the Rangers fans. Those light shows before kick off here at Celtic Park, these nighttime games are always so good. I love them so much, but yeah, we've kicked off here just now. Green Brigade down there, Hearts fans over there. Arsenal v Barcelona at the Emirates, as you've never seen it before. I doubt you've seen a vlog of uh, too many women's games. I myself have been to quite a few. I've been to ones up in Scotland and in Australia as well. So I'll link all my women's uh, football vlogs down below. I've even been to the, uh, the women's old firm derby. But now I'm here at the Emirates today. It's actually brilliant to see... Um, to see the women's teams currently playing in like the big stadiums. For some reason, the old firm was played at Airdrie Stadium, um, but the Scotland women's games are now being played at Hampden Park. An appalling back pass, pass for a one-on-one one here. They've got a score. They've got a score. Oh, they've got back. Oh. Barca are ahead here, the visitors. And it is top versus bottom today in the Scottish Premiership. We've got Rangers well clear at the top against St Johnston, who will find themselves bottom, strangely enough. <laughs> You're a subscriber, mate, so thank you very much. Absolute legend. Um, kill winning fans, right? Yeah. How's the season been going? Uh, been pretty good. You're top four, aren't you? Yeah. That's a Champions League spot. <laughs> um, so what do you think the score will be today? 1-0 buffs. 1-0 buffs. 3-1 uh, buffs. 3-1 buffs. <laughs> yeah! And I've just missed a goal, I've missed a penalty. Kill winning a 1 0 up. Um, just was chatting to someone in the bar, uh, one of the committee guys, and I've missed a goal, but it's 1 0 to kill winning. Of course, mate, of course. I've just missed a goal.